Good, hey, good morning. Dr. Goldberg uh, giving a uh, update on Enterococcus species. Um, Enterococcus is a gamma strep. It's most commonly we're going to see Enterococcus faecalis, about 90% of the strange strains. Otherwise, Enterococcus facium uh, is out there, and there's several others. Facium is much more resistant. Um, Enterococcus resides in the GI tract. Basically, it's going to be a pathogen in GI infections and genital urinary tract infections. Um, treatment of choice is amoxicillin or ampicillin. If they're penicillin allergic, we generally use vancomycin. Uh, if we have a vancomycin-resistant enterococci, which is fortunately rare, this is usually seen in nosocomial disease, then Zyvox or linazolid uh, is the treatment of choice. Um, an interesting fact about enterococcus is it's generally not a pathogen in skin infections, nor is it a, uh, a pathogen in uh, respiratory infections, such as pneumonia. We generally don't see it. If it is cultured from bronch specimens, usually it's with another organism, and usually it's not pathogenic. <clears throat> uh, however, when we see enterococcus in the blood as a sole pathogen, it's very virulent, causes terrible endocarditis. So you got to look for endocarditis from it uh, and usually re requires uh, six weeks of IV antibiotics directed at the enterococcus. When we see enterococcus in abscess formation in the GI tract, such as related to a diverticular abscess or an appendix, uh, usually it's with a anaerobe or a gram-negative rod like E. coli. Whether it's pathogenic in that setting remains to be seen. We tend to cover it uh, with drugs like zosin or ampicillin, uh, but whether it's a pathogen remains to be seen. A lot of controversy on that. So, uh, enterococcus is an interesting bug. You got to know about it. Thanks, Dr. Goldberg, signing.